It's thin and slim. It's not large, but it can hold some charge. Well, I think I'm describing this product which I'm going to review in a more poetic manner. So, in today's video, we'll be unboxing the world's thinnest portable charger. And thank you guys for joining me in another video of Tech Unboxing. So, in today's video, as I already mentioned, we're going to be describing the world's thinnest portable charger. So, when I say the word thin, it means that the thickness of this device is exactly 4 millimeters. Can you believe it? A power bank which is exactly 4 millimeters. So, the main reason why I bought this power bank is that I needed a power bank which I can fit inside my wallet. And I was looking for a device which is thin and it is sleek, it can hold some charge and it does not also heat up. So that part I'm not clear about the description but then two points when I was looking out for a product that slim, this product just popped up on Amazon. So in today's video we're going to be looking at the unboxing of the product and then we're going to take a look at the cool features this product has to offer and then we're going to see how much of charge this power bank over here is going to give to my dead iPhone and then we're going to see how much charge is it able to transfer to my iPhone and then we're going to do a temperature test to make sure that the device is safe it does not heat up during charging the power bank and when it is also charging another device such as the iPhone so join me and stay tuned for the unboxing so for the unboxing let's start opening the package up so clutch is the company which was able to produce this product so moving it off and I'm going to be leaving the product link in the video description alright so I'm opening the package and when I'm opening the package it's extremely fancy and then they give you the credit card size shape power bank over here and then you have your micro USB charging cable over here that's cool and then I'm gonna open the power bank this power bank has a capacity of 2300 mAh so it should be just enough to give my iPhone 8 Plus I use an iPhone 8 Plus so it should be giving my iPhone about 50 percentage of charge when I'm using it to charge my device so that's the power bank over here guys so if you guys see over here this is the thickness and the thickness is amazing when you see the thickness of this device it's almost if you stack up four credit cards on top of each other you can basically measure or fit the same thickness of this credit card so it's about 0.15 inches and then when 0.5 inches is almost similar to 4 millimeter it's just which is amazing and then I'm going to keep this power bank over here and then we have an instruction manual so today I'm going to be your instruction manual I'm going to be giving you all the cool specs and features about this product so I'm going to remove the product box and stuff so here we go guys so that's the two product which we see over here and then I'm going to lay out all the parts which they gave I'm going to keep the instruction manual away so this is the micro USB cable which you use for charging and then here is the device by itself so looking at the device itself it is not fingerprint resistant but then the thickness matters a lot this is the thickness in close-up if you guys can take a look at the thickness of this device and then you don't have to carry an extra cable for charging your iPhone for people using the iPhone, this power bank is a common handy device. For people using Samsung devices, you might have to get a lightning to USB-C adapter. So they give you a lightning cable adapter over here, which you can just plug it inside your iPhone and then you can charge your device. How cool is that? But you might have to take note that this cable over here is flimsy and it might come out. So be careful when you're using this device alright so here we go so that's your micro USB cable slot over here which means you gotta plug in your micro USB over here for charging the device so that's the specs of this product in the second part of the video we're gonna start doing the charge test which
Okay guys, so right now we've charged this power bank up to the full capacity and right now we're going to start testing this power bank to see how much this power bank can charge my dead iPhone over here from zero to how much battery percentage. So I'm going to start charging my iPhone over here from zero and then I'm going to see how much charge does this power bank give on full capacity to a dead iPhone. So I'm using an iPhone 8 plus so let's start charging it and meanwhile when it's charging I'm also going to start testing my power bank whether it's getting hot or whether it's getting heated up I want to check out what's going on because once I fit inside my wallet I don't want my wallet to get burnt up while this power bank is charging my phone so I'm going to fit it All right. there we go you see the indication and my battery pack is starting to charge so let's find out at what time this guy is completing charge also how much of charge has it given my so take precaution while the power bank is charging your iphone because the temperature of the power bank goes all the way up to 53 degrees celsius and the safe temperature is should be less than 40 degrees celsius while charging so take precaution guys okay so right now we're done with the charge test so this thin power bank is able to provide about 54% of charge to my iPhone 8 plus and it takes a time of about 1 hour and 32 minutes. So pretty impressive and also this power bank can be used as an emergency device for restoring half of your iPhone's power. So when I say half it com kind of compares to the iPhone 8 plus's ca power capacity. But then if you're going to be using a different iPhone, for example, iPhone 11 and iPhone 11 Pro Max, then the amount of charge this power bank can provide can vary. All right. So right now we've taken a look at all the cool features this product has to offer. Now let's go to the pros and cons of this product. The power bank has a slim design, which means it can fit in wallets. It provides at least 50% of charge to iPhones, which means that this power bank can be used as an emergency device during the most unexpected situations. The power bank has an inbuilt lightning charging cable, which means that you don't have to carry an extra lightning cable for charging your iPhones. Now let's take a look at the cons of this product. So this power bank heats up during charging iPhones. And when we see in doing the temperature test, this power bank had a temperature of about 53 degrees Celsius when it was charging your iPhones. So take precaution while charging your iPhones. This power bank experiences some very mild heating during charging of power bank. It goes up to 41 degrees Celsius. The safe temperature for charging devices should be less than 40 degrees Celsius, so all good. The second con is that it needs an USB-C adapter, which means that when you're using a Samsung device, you need to have a lightning to USB-C adapter, and then you can use it for charging your Samsung phones. So going through the final verdict, I would say buy this power bank, but then do take precaution while charging your iPhone. So if you happen to use this power bank within a wallet, when you're charging your iPhone, what you can do is that you can take this power bank out, charge your iPhone. Once the iPhone has been charged, you can put this power bank within your wallet. But if you do want in-wallet charging, I know it looks cool. So if you do want in-wallet charging, which means that you don't have to remove your power bank when you're charging your iPhone, I'm going to be posting a solution in my next video, which is going to be featuring me building a smart wallet. So I'm actually building a smart wallet. I'm going to be posting a solution because I'm going to be using this power bank within my wallet and it's going to stay in my wallet every time.